Hey everybody, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Ramsey. Welcome to your Skills News Update. Fonda Bargain has been accused of embezzling $150,000 from the City of Omaha Accounting Department. She was arrested about a month ago and claims she's innocent. Bargain is expected to be in court Monday, February 30th for felony embezzlement charges. If Bargain is convicted, she could face 20 years in prison and will be required to return all the money. Omaha Senator Ned Devine has submitted a bill in Nebraska that will require all new state school buses to have seat belts. Passing of this bill will mean a tax increase on lottery tickets, which could lead to less ticket sales. Also, there has been no evidence to show that seat belts can make it safer for bus passengers. Senator Devine knows he does not have much support behind his bill, but would like to see the idea debated in the legislature. Potholes are appearing in record numbers all across the metro, and the heavy snow and freeze cycles are to blame. Mayor Jean Stoddard says she will ask the city council to approve an extra $250,000 for street repair. As for now, the street, um, the street repair crews are working overnight to repair the potholes. Problems in Michigan continue as federal officials say that Flint leaders are not complying with an emergency order on lead contamination in the city's drinking water. The Environmental Protection Agency states that the city doesn't have a plan for monitoring the water and that there are not enough capable and qualified personnel to handle the issue. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality said that the agency is preparing a response to the EPA and looks forward to continuing their work to ensure that Flint water is safe. Former Husker football player Randy Gregory was recently suspended by the Dallas Cowboys. The announcement came Friday afternoon in Dallas after Gregory's failed drug test. Luckily for the defensive end, he only has to miss four games this next coming season and is still eligible to practice and work out with the team. If he were to fail one more test, he would have to sit almost half the regular season. Cyclone Winston tore through the Pacific Island and nearly abolished Fiji. The island has been described as flattened as very few buildings are left standing. The winds reached 177 miles per hour, making it the strongest storm to ever hit Fiji. Sadly, 29 lives were lost. Starbucks has come up with new turn for its reward system. Now customers must earn 125 stars instead of 12. Each dollar spent is worth two stars. That adds up to over $60 for your free item. I want some Starbucks. I was just about to get that free item too. I was so close. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ramsey. And I'm Kaylee. Have a great day.